There are more than 7,000 cryptocurrency today, and if you are watching this video you have probably come across the word crypto. Because it is gaining more mainstream popularity by the day. Interestingly even if you are new to this blockchain and cryptocurrency thing, this will help you know a lot more about them, because they aren't going anywhere. In fact they might be the fundamentals foundation on which the world economy will be built in the near future. But, before I get you lost in all this future prediction, let me tell you what cryptocurrency mean. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency in which transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than by a centralized authority. Now let's break that down a bit. Cryptocurrency is digital money that runs on a decentralized system called the blockchain. It is not controlled by the government like fiat money and can be sent and received using a set of keys called a wallet. Here is the tricky part. There are different types of cryptocurrency. We have the crypto coin and crypto token. You can easily confuse both for each other because they are both built using the same system, but they have different roles to play in the blockchain ecosystem. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one channel for tech and blockchain product education. Please hit the subscription button to support our efforts and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Now let's take you in for a ride. We will be starting with the crypto coin. When Bitcoin first came out, it set the standard for what it means to be a coin. You shouldn't be surprised, because Bitcoin is the grandfather of all other cryptocurrency today. And that's won't change for, as long as we know. Despite that, there are clear-cut qualities that distinguish crypto coins from tokens, which are similar to real-world money. So, let's look into the characteristics of a coin. Number one is that it operates on its own blockchain. The blockchain keeps track of all transactions that involve its native crypto coin. It's more like this. When you pay someone with Ethereum, the receipt goes to the Ethereum blockchain. If the same person pays you back later with Bitcoin, the receipt goes to the Bitcoin blockchain. Each transaction is protected by encryption and is accessible by any member of the network. In this case, Bitcoin and Ethereum are their own blockchain and have their own native coin with which they transact namely Ether and Bitcoin. Secondly, it can act as money. Bitcoin was created for the sole purpose of replacing traditional money. The appeal of transparency and anonymity inspired the creation of other coins, including Ether, Neo, and Litecoin. This means that you can purchase merchandise and services from many major corporations today, such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Tesla, using crypto coins. For instance, Bitcoin has recently become an official currency of El Salvador alongside the US dollar. Isn't that interesting? Thirdly, it can be mined. You can earn crypto coins in many ways today. One is through traditional mining on the proof of work system. Bitcoin hunters, as they are popularly called, employ this method to boost their earnings. The problem with this is that there aren't that many Bitcoins left to mine. We have a total of a 21 million, with over 18 million mined already, so the process becomes more arduous every day. Another method is proof of stake, which is a more modern approach to earning coins. It's lighter on energy consumption and easier to do. Cardano is one of the biggest coins that adopt this system. We will discuss proof of stake and proof of work later. Now let's recap the characteristics of a coin. 1. It operates on its blockchain. Like the Bitcoin blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain. 2. It can actually act as money. 3. It can be mined. These three points are what a crypto coin must characterize. Now, let's get into a token. Unlike coins, tokens do not have their own blockchain. Instead, they operate on other crypto coins' blockchains, such as Ethereum. Some of the most commonly known tokens on Ethereum include Shiba Inu, Uniswap, Chainlink, Tether, and many other stable coins like the USDC. If crypto coin transactions are handled by blockchain, then tokens rely on smart contracts. Smart contracts are like an array of codes that facilitate trades or payments between users. Each blockchain uses its smart contract. For example, Ethereum uses ERC20 and NEO uses NEP5. We won't go too deep into these terminologies, but we will explain token even further. The first point you should note is that token does not have their own blockchain. They operate on another coin's blockchain, like the Ethereum blockchain. Another notable difference between tokens and coins is what they represent. While crypto coins are essentially digital versions of money, tokens can stand for assets or deeds. 
Let's say you bought 200 link token with Ethereum which is a coin. The 200 link token is like a share of the company called Chain Link. It can serve as an asset that you can keep and make a profit on over the years when held. Simply put, a token represents what you own, while a coin indicates what you're capable of owning. The token idea has been in existence for many years, before cryptocurrency. You have probably used a token, if you have once played a game at a casino. You normally walk into the casino with your regular fiat money, which you exchange for some chips. Then you can approach the game table with your chips, that chip represent a token. You cannot go out and spend the chips on let's say a meal at a restaurant. When you sell your car, you transfer the value of that title to someone else. However, you can't go to Microsoft and buy a computer with that title, or pay for cup of coffee at Starbucks. Another interesting thing about tokens is how easy it is to create one. Some networks like Ethereum provide templates where you can brand your tokens and start trading them. This makes it easy for anyone with little to no technical knowledge to become a market maker. You'll find a high density of this type of token on decentralized exchanges, such as Uniswap or ApeSwap. We can keep going, but let's wrap it up. The difference between a token and a coin isn't vast, but it can be a bit confusing if you are trying to differentiate it. One quick way to decide which one you should use is to pay attention to what you're buying. If it's a product, most often, you would need coins. However, if it's a service, there are usually utility tokens you can use. Let's put this in a simple context. If you are buying basic attention token, you will need a coin like Ethereum. But if you are buying a service like basic attention ads, then you only need the BAT token. Hopefully you have get the needed insight from this video, and you can now go ahead to buy a token and coin. Of course after you have done your research, share this with a friend that will love to learn a thing or two about cryptocurrency. If you like the video please, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, this is a form of supporting our efforts. Turn on your notification bell, so that you can get notified each time we post a video. Kindly share your thoughts on what you will like us to discuss in the comment section. See you next time.